My name's Brad Carter, I own Michelin style carts in Mosley in Birmingham. My name's Lee and I run Baked in Brick, which is like a pizzeria and street food restaurant in Digbeth in Birmingham. I'm Rebecca Boast, I'm a senior tutor here in the Raymond Blanc Cookery School, based at Le Manoir at Cat Saison. My name's Leo, I'm the uh, senior sous chef here at Simpsons in Edgebust in Birmingham. So I first came here uh, when I was 16 years old from UCB and um, got given a work experience and uh, never looked back since. So we've held a Michelin star for 19 years here at Simpsons. Our ethos here is simplicity leads to clarity. So we're very simple with the food, but it's all about buying the best produce, treating them with a lot of love and respect. Usually from UCB, you can expect the students to come with a certain caliber of skills. I was studying culinary arts management at UCB when I was headhunted to interview here at Le Manoir. And my first interview was to cook two of my own dishes cookery school style to Raymond Blanc and all the heads of Le Manoir. Five and a half years later, I'm definitely glad I uh, took that interview. When I went to UCB, that's where the sort of like the cogs started turning and I just loved it. The business started about four years ago. So yeah, I started doing street food. I've always loved really rustic style of cooking, cooking in fire, cooking over coal. And then about three years ago, I entered the British Street Food Awards, um, which ended up winning. Then the following year, I did the European Street Food Awards, which I won that as well. To get to Berlin and compete and cook, Michelin star chefs from around Europe all judging you. And then to go and win, that was a massive, massive career highlight. And from there, everything kind of started propelling really, really quickly. And that's where this sort of restaurant came from. This is now the next stage of Baked and Brick. I always had a bit of a natural thing for cooking. I always liked doing it, but not massive skill. Got to UCB, I stuck to it, loved it. It's the only course I've ever got into, stuck to and finished. The restaurant is 99% British ingredients. We decided in 2014 to go to a set menu and then Good Food Guy came along and we won Restaurant of the Year in the whole country. The year later we got a Michelin star, so that changes everything. When that happened to us, it took, took a bit of believing. Cooking at this level opens your eyes to a lot of things. You could progress and go off to a two star, three star level and again become your own person and get your own Michelin stars one day if you wanted to. Working with Roman Blanc has been an amazing experience that I never thought I would get to do, especially starting out in my career. I would never imagine that I would end up working for such an incredible chef, but also such a wonderfully passionate chef. To get opportunities to do so many different other stuff, managed to cook for Danny Willett, who's a Masters champion at golf. Did a food program a couple of years ago and uh, did a bit of touring with them and kind of cooked in places where I never thought I'd cook before. And I think my favourite had to be um, BBC Two's Le Chef's Protégé, where I got to work with Michelle Junior. So I did a TV program once with Gordon Ramsay and Marcus Waring. Cooked for the Princess Royal, that was a massive, massive highlight. Next stage is to probably open another site. I was looking at centre of Birmingham for our next restaurant. The wonderful thing with this industry is it's incredibly varied. There is no one path that I think any of us are going to take, and I love that.